Hi Scrappy friends, welcome to the Crafty Maven Getaway. This is Hannah with you today and this is the Stash It Monday layout that I made. I'm super sorry it's late. I made it on I made it on time. I just it didn't get up on time. <laughs> uh anyway, so right now I am working on some stenciling. I'm using um a technique that I just really like doing, which is just taking the stencil and actually using your pen to, to do some stuff. So I just use a ballpoint pen. The one that I think I was using to do that one was the Precise Pilot Pen. It, I like the way that it works on, it makes a nice solid line. For doing something like this I like the way that it works and then I decided to just use some plain white modeling paste so I will say I need to get more because this is um, a different brand or it's a brand that I've had for a while but it's not it's too thick for me I don't know <laughs> if that makes sense I really like the Liquitex the the whipped pine. I should try something like that or like even who is it? Is it Tim Holtz or Fenabar? She has like a whipped stock of pine. I could be wrong. It could be someone else. Oh, so right now I'm just going to clean off my spot because if you don't clean off your spot uh, with the modeling paste, you will have modeling paste everywhere and it doesn't come off very easily. So Usually I cut this out, but today you're getting a nice version of it. This layout took me no time at all. So it's going to end, this is going to be an eight and a half by 11 size layout. In a minute, I'm going to actually cut that off. So I let this dry and it really didn't take too long to dry. The, I just put such a thin layer of that modeling paste. And as I'm working, I'm just making sure that I'm not touching it and stuff. So I add some stuff. I take out some cut files that I did did up the other day. So this that part isn't necessarily stashed, but it is because it's stuff that I just cut up without having a, a reason to cut it up. I do that sometimes. I will just batch cut stuff. And it's just in plain white cardstock. It's the Spiegel Mom scraps for this month. They have exclusive cuts. I'll make sure I have the link below that you can get to that. So I also, I don't know if I did it already, but I also sprayed my paper with some shimmers, razzleberry, razzleberry, razzle, dazzleberry. It's like a dark pink almost a purple color because I wanted some of that to be on my modeling paste but I didn't want a really really thick layer of it so I'm gonna cut this down because I decided that I want to have a border of some regular pattern paper and a lot of a lot of the space where I didn't have the modeling paste and I use a lot of glue because with the modeling paste, it really makes it heavy. And I don't want my layouts falling apart. Um, I, I mean, sure, it's probably not necessarily a problem, but I'd rather use the external glue than to find out in, in five years that it didn't hold and my paper started pulling up. So, but that's just me. And then I took this. So that blue paper is from my stash, but it... It was one that I hadn't used yet, so I don't know. So I guess that's, I don't know if I'd consider it stashed because I hadn't used it. It's from an old kit that I bought. <clears throat> but some of these pieces were actually on my desk. So this is something that I do, and I consider this stashed because I've already started using these papers. And I will make a few layouts and have the pieces sitting on my desk. <laughs> before I put them away because I'm uh I just do that so I decided to just pull what I had over there I did add that um that one text paper 
is actually from a Studio Calco seven paper line like over a year ago or about a year ago maybe. And then this is from an old click kit and it just says under the stars. And then I realized that I wanted to put my photo on, like have a mat on my photo. And I remembered that I had this piece of like shiny iridescent cardstock. It's not plain white. So it's, it's more of like a cream color. And I wasn't sure at first how I was going to like this because it's white and cream, but that card has a creamy look. So I'm thinking that maybe I can make this work and it ends up working out really, really well. Yes, there is a difference, but I also sprayed all of, I, I think I do that after or before. I think I did that before. So I sprayed everything with some gold spray shimmer spray that I have and so there's just this light mist of gold it's not very heavy at all like you really I mean you can tell that it's there but it's not it almost makes the paper look more bay you know have that cream color and then I did decide because with the white on the white I wanted it to stand out, so I actually pulled out those, remember those anchors that, like, they were so popular. <laughs> I have a ton of them, and some of them, the ink pads are coming off, and of course, one fell on my desk, of course, because that happens. So that is something else that I pulled out from my stash, is those anchors, and I I inked all the, um, all those, those cups file pieces and it really does help it stand out just enough though I will say that I'm not a big anchor anymore I actually really don't care for the look too much it's funny how now that I've gotten to this clean look that I found that I can get that look with layers just as much as by inking or like even outlining sometimes which surprisingly I didn't do on this layout <laughs> So I put the moon on some pop foam and then I'm going to put some of the stars on pop dots and some of them I'm not. So I'm sorry this is a little bit out of frame. I didn't realize it when I was sleeping. I really need to put some washi tape on my desk <laughs> that says don't go past this. So you won't be able to see it, but that I know not to go past it. Because sometimes when you're sitting there on your desk, you don't realize you're out of frame. But you can see. Now that picture is of my daughter, Kaden. She is like, I don't know. She's probably not even a month old yet. Because she still has that newborn look. She was such a cutie. I went through old pictures this past week, so this is why I'm using it. Because <laughs> I took pictures of, I I printed off a few pictures of each of my kids, and I I started scrapping after my kids were all babies, so I don't have that many layouts of my kids as babies, so I don't mind going back and doing some some layouts like this. And I did put some green, I mixed some green and or like a minty teal color or jade type of color with um with some gold <clears throat> underneath some of those stars so you get a little bit more texture and then I will say that some of this did get cut off oh right now it's gonna get cut off so I'm sorry so you didn't see me put the title on but and then I just put some enamel stuff and some of those color casts. I really love how this turned out. So I hope you guys had a great week and I will see you guys later. Bye.